Okay, well, we've got uh, our next interview set just about to come on stage. Now, for those who followed off road motorsport, we've had our highs and lows, we've had our mountain tops and our troughs, and we've come through thick and thin to get here. And over the years, we've always aspired to have the best showcase we possibly could. And a few years ago, we actually got recognised with probably uh, one of the highest accolades we could ever even have hoped to achieve. Uh, we were in invited to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Not only invited, but we were invited to have our own off-road motorsport arena. I would like to welcome to the stage the man who has given us the best showcase we could ever hope to have had. It is Mr. Charles Goddard, Mr. Goodwood Festival of Speed himself, to the stage. Thank you, Charles. Take a seat. Along with him, the man who keeps us all in check <laughs> when we do attend the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Not only that, but a couple of years ago, we were given the honor of having our very own off-road motorsport Britpart Arena shootout at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. You cannot say that often enough how big it was. And it was fast paced. We had some of the fastest crews there. And it was to the wire. It was a brilliant run. It was sublime to see. And I think everybody was so excited. They couldn't be crying with emotion when Andy DiGiulio took that first title. So Andy DiGiulio, if you'd like to come to the stage, take a seat beside Charles. And I thank you, Andy. <laughs> I thank you, Andy, because he's also provided the bonnets for our Hall of Fame that we've inaugurated this year. This is the very bonnet that was on Andy's car when he took that first title. Uh, we couldn't be more proud. Now, I'm going to come and sit beside you. I think it's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. I hate standing at the front, so I'll come and hunker down here. No, it's all right. I'll come and squeeze in here. Okay, so first of all, let me move that out of the way. Can everybody see Charles? Because that's the main thing. Can everybody see Andy DiGiulio? Okay. Um, Charles, first of all, Goodwood Festival of Speed, it is a phenomenal event. It's absolutely fantastic. First of all, tell us a little bit about your involvement in it. Take uh, the mic. Take oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so I started in 98. I went to the first revival in uh, 98. Um, I saw Ray Hanna in the Spitfire, and I was, I was besotted. I've always been into old cars, um, and yeah, I was besotted in 98. Managed to... I saw an ad on Twitter, just to, and I just thought, I'll go on, I'll give it a shot. And um, yeah, so they, they hired me in, what was it, 2014, just before the first members meeting, the first new members meeting. And uh, yeah, it was a dream come true to go from, you know, standing at the chicane in 98 to being, to being at Goodwood. And it really was, it has been um, yeah, kind of a dream come true because it's such an extraordinary place to work. You know, the experiences you have, the people you meet, the cars you see, everything. It's uh, on event, it's just a roller coaster from start to finish. It's a great fun. Well, Charles, we all love it. And, and the moment came when you finally recognised that off road motorsports uh, could take its place in that showcase. And did you, Julia, you've been involved from the start. Just explain exactly what that meant to our sport. Oh, I mean, it's, it's uh, amazing. The profile. As Charles has brought the profile of our sport to the viewing public and everybody, massive. I can't I know how to measure it. Um, it's ironic, really, because the first the first phone call I got, I didn't believe that I'd been was being invited. It's a bit of a funny story because we was at work, as in the workplace you mess around. We was having hoax phone calls, <laughs> and I come in from from being out for an hour. And Matt, that worked for me at the time, said, uh, oh, you might want to ring this chap. I was any messages, Matt. He said, you might want to ring this chap back. It's uh, from Goodwood. Do you, you want to invite you to Goodwood? <laughs> I went, yeah, right. I should, okay. I do, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's gone, no, no. And I've gone in the kitchen. And he's gone, no, and you really need to ring this chap back. <laughs> and, uh, and I did. And then, and then we, uh, and actually, I turned you down, I think, because we was already away that weekend, yeah. And, yeah, uh, so, sorry, mate, we're busy. Yeah, I can't believe it. And, uh, and, uh, but I said, I'll, I'll help you find some other competitors. And, uh, and that's what we did. And we forged a friendship and relationship and, well, no, not a relationship, but a friendship. <laughs> you heard a it here first. A working relationship. <laughs> and, 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 and built the show to what it is now, yeah. yeah. Well, it is extraordinary. And it's not only that. With the, with the first year, we had um, Cop Cars. We've had uh, Ultra 4 crews there. We've had everybody there now, uh, right across the board. The shootout was the one bit we were missing to start with. Um, we'd, we'd been up there, we'd had the arena, and it was going really well. Um, so what was it, Charles, that impressed you enough to allow us to have our own shootout? Not only that, but to go up that hill climb to take 
off-road motorsport cars on the most famous hill climb in the world? Well, it's, I mean, the, the event's obviously, I mean, it's, it's used to be a three-day event, and now it's becoming a four-day event with uh, Thursday. We used to do the moving motor show, and that changed, and we were given the opportunity to add content uh, throughout Thursday. And it was just a natural choice, obviously, because we don't get to see the rally cars from up in the rally stage or these incredible machines on the hill climb. So it was, it was a, natural, a natural choice. Uh, and really exciting, because having seen you guys compete and the engineering and the enthusiasm you guys throw into racing, you know, to be able to share that with, fundamentally, to show my colleagues, you know, who perhaps don't know as well as I do these machines, to show what they can do going up the hill, you know, and seeing uh, uh, Foucault in his little Peugeot coming oh, sideways. Oh, that was something else. You know, it was just... <laughs> And the, the Ultra 4 stuff, yeah. you know, massive, big V8. Um, and everybody flying up the hill. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a natural choice. I just wish we could do it more often. Yeah, the European crews are just incredible. And the cars, the technology, the, just everything about them. The sport itself, though, Andy, we've, we've gone... We've reached new heights over the past couple of years. We've seen uh, Justin take the Good Festival of Speed shootout title this year. The cars are absolutely beautiful and, and blisteringly fast as well. But the standard of driving is exceptional now, isn't it? Yeah. I've said for years we're probably the best kept secret in UK motorsport. Um, as you said, the cars that are being built, um, Dan at Lofthouse, I mean, they're, they're cutting edge. Um, I've got the Milner R5. I mean, you, you look across what, uh, Rick Mann, what's being built in people's garages even. But the quality and the engineering involved is, 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 is fantastic. And what's really beautiful is John Hilton, who is currently on camera at the moment, uh, has been there with us all the way through, forever in Offer Road Sport, uh, archiving, filming the French events, the, the all drive British events. Um, and there he is now at Goodwood. Um, and for John Hilton himself, the videos you've created have been quite extraordinary. And I think, Charles, it, it's highlighted the whole sport for you as well and helped to, to really bring it to the fore. Some of the clips we've seen, as you said, uh, with some of the French cars and the brick cars and some of the, the films that uh, John's made, that's really made it and made the profile absolutely first class for the sport. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, although it's a quite a small area in, in, in comparison, we've made, uh, you know, with, with Britpart's help, with Paul Meyer's help, we've made, really made the most of the space that we've got, uh, you know, and we've showcased, we've had BJ Baldwin up there, and Robbie Gordon going bananas, uh, you know, Philippe Gash with his enormous Dakar machine. So the, the oh, yeah, yeah, the uh, Curry and Casey Curry. So yeah, we've really been able to maximise the, the space that we've got and uh, John Hilton's work on the camera is really good. Well, the last couple of years have been extraordinary. Last year when we had Justin and Rob Butler out on course on the shoot, shootout, fantastic. But to see the cars on the hill climb and Charles, we, we just can't thank you enough for this incredible showcase. So what have we got in store this year? Well, there are some things Are we in allowed the to know? <laughs> it's one of those inevitable questions in the sense that we do have some... We do have some things, some, some new ideas, uh, but unfortunately, I'm not, a uh, not at liberty to discuss them at the moment. I thought I caught you on the hoof then. <laughs> Just uh, catch him off guard. But yeah, we've got a new offering down because we obviously do the passenger rides as well in the same sort of area. We used to do it with Ultra 4, but we've got a new offering down there. Um, and hopefully, some, maybe some new ideas in terms of the course layout. I'll leave it at that to say that we might have some new ideas with the course layout. Looking forward to that immensely. Andy, um, with our cars going to Goodwood, you sort of heading us up and everything, what do you think we're going to be showing off more than anything this year? What do you think people are coming to see? Is it the speed? Is it the cars? Is it the drivers? Uh, we've been talking about social media and how important it is to have those personal profiles. Do you think that's as important? Definitely. Um, 
as, as our profile has increased, especially at Goodwood, we're, we're finding, I mean, it's nice that the public can come into the garages and, and I'm finding more and more people are talking and asking the questions. And the, the off-road arena when we're, is really busy now. Um, Dan showed me some aerial photographs one, and, and there were eight people deep. And, and I mean, you do a fantastic job on the commentary. That's another, you do. And that's another thing that it, it's building, it's getting better. Um, it's a, I think it's a, a really good part of the show now. I mean, it's... We're limited, obviously, by the space. So there's only so many cars we can get up there. And, uh, you know, the guys that have been there for the last few years, I mean, they're the hardest working drivers on the whole site. You know, we have 600 plus cars, bikes, trucks. Um, but each of those are spread out. You know, they, they get a couple of hours in between each run, you know, go and have some lunch. Whereas these guys are at it all day long. You know, 30 cars to run for four days solid. And for you to comment, <laughs> do commentary non-stop is, uh, you know, it's quite a feat. But that, that, the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm that comes off you guys in this group of people here is just absolutely infectious. And it, it, it really embodies the Goodwood spirit. You know, it was always, you look back to those early events, the early Festival of Speed, they were driven by enthusiasm. You know, and a lot of it gets lost in the, the sort of, because uh, it is a big business now, but that enthusiasm is still the backbone of what Goodwood does. And you guys are, are, are really, um, you really embody it. You know, and whilst, it, you know, you give me a big uh, introduction and all the rest of it, all I've, I haven't really done anything. You know, Andy's, and uh, Stephen Mitchell and uh, Paul Myers and everybody, they have supported me and told me what's happening in the sport, informed me, and then I just send an email. So it's you guys with the, the, the cars, with the engineering, with the excitement that have made it. So yeah, the, the credit goes to you guys, not to, not to me. No, Charles got it. We cannot thank humble. you. <laughs> He's too humble. We, we just can't thank you enough, and I think Andy would probably like to say that better than me, how much it means to us. Yeah, I mean... I mean, well, you, you've just, what you said, I mean, our whole sport runs, our whole sport runs on enthusiasm. That's a good word, isn't it? I mean, we, it is, the whole, the whole pit is enthusiastic, even at an event, everyone helps each other. And when we're at Goodwood, it is one big, it is a festival. We are there enjoying it. I mean, for us, it isn't, it is a week off for me. I mean, it's, it's tiring, it's hard work, and, but I just love to, I love to drive the car. And you give us a platform to show our sport, and burn some petrol. It's great. Thanks. I mean, thanks to you, Charles. It, is, it was down to you. I've been fortunate to be in a lot of different, um, a lot of different racing cars, uh, some four by fours, off roading. Used to do a lot of off roading myself. I've never been in a car as a passenger and wanted to get out. And you took me round. <laughs> genuinely, I thought he, 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 this, he genuinely doesn't know what he's doing. And I was almost about to reach out and say, look, you have to stop. I'm terrified. I've never been so scared in all my life. Yeah, absolutely. Borderline, borderline unenjoyable, unenjoyable like but it that. was borderline. Well, there's the car, and as he comes around, there's the bonnet, and there it is right there. So, Andy Julia, the first ever winner of the Goodwood Festival of Speed Shootout, thank you so much. Charles Goddard for giving us this wonderful showcase. We look forward to seeing you again this year, uh, 2020, at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. And thank you so much for joining us here in the first ever Off-Road Motorsport Zone 2020.